Hey Scrappers, it's Vanessa here with my first layout for Sketch Inspired for the month of February. And I actually created this layout for the first day of load, which I'm also playing with this month. In addition, I am using everything for this layout is coming from my How to Kill a Kit with Style. So I won't show you in any detail really what I, all the supplies I'm using um, because they were all from that large kit that I put together and is in a previous video if you want to check that out. So everything is coming from that. And the sketch that I chose is from Sketchabilities. It was by Karen Garber, I believe. And you can find all of her sketches. I believe she's put them all in a Pinterest um, board. So be sure to go to Pinterest to be able to check out this sketch. I'll have my Pinterest board listed below if you want to check that out as well. So the first thing that I'm going to do here for this layout is create that sort of L-shaped design that is on the sketch. Now, I think in mine, I have sort of moved it a bit more down to the bottom right of the pattern paper. But essentially what I'm doing is just building up the background with some stamps for where the main element of my page is going to go. So I've just pulled multiple stamps and some Catherine Pooler ink and I've used some ink splotch stamps from Hero Arts. I have the ruler stamp from a 49th and Market stamp set. So just a whole lot of stamping just to add some interest to that wood grain background that I'm using. And then as usual with any wood grain, I always add some white and some gold splatters. So that is what I'm going to do here is just add in those splatters and then we will set this background off to the side to dry. The next thing I'm going to do here is take this six by six piece of pattern paper and I have my scallop punch, one of my favorite punches, and I'm just going to go ahead and punch these scallops. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to punch each scallop and then cut it out here and then I'll distress those off camera. And those are going to become the scallop design that you see in the sketch. So here I'm just showing you these are all pattern papers from that kit and I took two project life cards and I created tags out of those and took that six by six like I said and punched the scallops. The only thing on my layout that I'm going to do that isn't on the original sketch is to create that cluster that's up on the top left of the page which you'll see when it comes back in. However, the first thing I'm doing here is gutting the, the cardstock that I'm going to back the layout with because I want to frame one of my photos with that cardstock as well. And the other, the other photo will be framed with that yellow and white striped frame that you see there. So I'm just going to trim up this cardstock so I can back this other photo and that's going to be the two photos that I'm using for this layout today. And these are of my son and he is sitting with all his candy after going out trick or treating actually. And so I snap these cute photos of him. So that is what I'm scrapbooking today. And basically what I was going for for this was keeping to sort of the corally pink and yellow and then I threw in just a little bit of this darker green. So that was the color combo that I was kind of aiming for with everything that I pulled from my kit for this layout. And there you see I have that other cluster that's going to be up there at the top left. So I'm going to fuss around for a few minutes with the placement. I obviously am keeping with the sketch with the two photos, but I am playing around and you're going to see me fuss around with all the embellishments and sort of where I think the placement's going to go. And I am trying to decide where I want to put those two photos. I have a big open space on that second photo and ultimately what I decide is to put the other photo sort of overlapping that second photo so as to sort of take up some of that sort of 
empty space in that photo, which you'll see in, I can't remember if I do it on camera or if I do it off camera and then when I, you'll see it when I come back. In any event, I am just going to build out my clusters and they do actually move, but essentially the main pieces that I'm put in, putting in each of these clusters stays the same. I just end up moving them slightly around on the page for the finished layout. But in any event, everything that you see me putting down pretty much goes on the layout in the end. And so I'm just going to fuss around and figure out all the bits and pieces that I want to put on this layout and then I will glue everything down off camera. And what I'm also trying to do is I have brought in that green and I just wanted a little pop of it. So I've added like two other elements that have that green color in it so I can carry it around the page. And there you see I did go off camera and glue everything down. And this is where I'm saying the photos moved. So I've moved the smaller one over into that sort of empty space. And then I moved the two tags from the top to each side of one of the photo of each of the photos. So that way I could use those almost to anchor some embellishment clusters. And then it gave a perfect spot for my title to be up here on top of that first photo. It kind of made a nice little shelf right there. And the title for this one is Candy Jackpot because for him, it was definitely a candy jackpot. That was a lot of candy that was free for him to eat as he pleased or within reason anyway. And so he was very happy to have that candy. Now I am just going to finish up this layout with some of these enamel dots. And I think I use all of the ones that are left on that little Em little almost empty sheet of enamel dots that you see me playing with here. Off camera I will add some twine in those tags which you'll see in the finished photos at the end and I think that once I put those down that pretty much is it for this layout. This layout is going up and I believe when it goes up that the announcement for me joining the Redefined Creative design team has been announced so be sure to be on the lookout for all the upcoming layouts and creative design team assignments that will be happening for redefine creative and so with that guys here are the still photos and i will catch you on the next one have a great day everybody bye bye